what's up welcome to my channel if this isn't your first time welcome back to my channel it's 1 42 in the morning can y'all see that child the amount of mess that has been going on popeyes <laughs> sweetheart what y'all doing what y'all doing because and i'm sorry about the glare on my glasses i got my lights behind the, the camera i'm pretty sure you've heard most likely but if you haven't let me just tell you Popeyes came out with a chicken sandwich or a spicy chicken sandwich, whatever it's called. And they did like a first round of it and blew up. Everybody was like, oh, it's delicious. Oh, you got to try this. First time when they released it, people was going to Popeyes, getting in fights, all this. And I'm just like, when they initially first released it, I was like, okay, I want to try this. You know, it looks good. Everybody hyping it up like, oh, it's better than Chick-fil-A's chicken sandwich which I don't eat chick-fil-a like all day every day I consider like chick-fil-a like a, a a luxury kind of their chicken sandwiches chick-fil-a's chick chicken sandwiches are pretty good and I'm like okay y'all saying it's better than chick-fil-a sandwiches it's gotta be good I haven't tasted it yet and I'm kind of at the point to where I don't even want to taste it because I don't feel like dealing with the stuff is see it seems like you have to go through so much to get just a chicken sandwich from Popeyes it was all the mess when the, you know when they first came out with the sandwich the first time and now it's the second time they recently was it this week or last week that they brought the sandwich back because they stopped it the first time because they ran out of sandwiches How do you run out of chicken sandwiches? Popeyes, y'all are a chicken establishment. How you run out of chicken? Chick-fil-A doesn't run out of chicken sandwiches. People aren't starting fights on a regular basis at Chick-fil-A. The employees at Chick-fil-A serve you with, I mean, their customer service is just top notch. Like, nobody comes close. The first time when they first came out with the sandwich and I saw that people were getting into fights. Just all this ruckus over a dang chicken sandwich. For what? Like it looked good but y'all gotta do all this. And the thing that pisses me off is it's mainly black people acting a dang donkey over a chicken sandwich. And things have gotten so crazy. Like the chicken sandwich, they Popeye just, you know, came out with the chicken sandwich again. And people are back to acting a donkey. And you know, whether it's fighting employees fighting other customers fighting in the drive through wow it's a chicken sandwich y'all it makes my brain hurt and i think i saw something if this is wrong then i won't even have this in the video but i thought i saw something that somebody leaked the recipe to the sandwich start with that chicken thigh pat it dry Get them all in a bowl, season them all with Tabasco, cayenne, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Mix it up until it looks just like that. Two cups of flour, cayenne, paprika, cornstarch, salt, and pepper. Mix it up. That's the flour mix. Two eggs, buttermilk. You know, want to mix that up. Pour that over the chicken. Mix up the chicken. Get it in there and let it sit. Then coat the chicken very well in the flour. Spicy mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, paprika, cayenne. Tabasco, simple, mix. Oil in, check that it's hot enough. Has to be hot enough, you wanna hear that noise. Chicken thigh, five to six minutes each side, golden brown, and then flip. After that, take it out, just like that. Toasted brioche bun, spicy mayonnaise, both sides, pickles, that chicken, top it. Yes! Uh... You can literally make it from home. Like, I've gotten to a point to where I don't really eat out anymore. It's very rare that I stop and, like, eat fast food or something. It's gotten to a point to where I've been eating, like, more home-cooked stuff, baking and, like, cookies and stuff. Like, I prefer to, like, make that from scratch. I like to know what's in my stuff. It's nice to, you know, you buy a product that's already packaged and cooked and stuff from, like, the store. You can't change the ingredients in it, but if you make something from scratch, you know, you can kind of eliminate and figure out, okay, I'm allergic to this, I'm allergic to that. It's a lot easier to track. This whole Popeye situation with the chicken sandwiches has just gotten out of control. 
like it's been out of control but it has hit a new low like somebody literally lost their life over a dang chicken sandwich it was a guy he was at Popeye's he was in line waiting to get a chicken sandwich like everybody else and I guess somebody else came and like cut the line which has been a lot of people trying to skip the line thinking that they're more important than other people but I don't care who you are I don't care your fame your amount of money you make I don't care you can get in the back of the line and wait the same amount of time that everybody else has had to wait. You feel me? This person basically skipped the line. It caused a fight. They took the fight outside and the person who passed away ended up getting stabbed. Now to Maryland where a man was stabbed to death outside a Popeye's restaurant. Police say the stabbing happened over a fight about the fast food chain's chicken sandwich. You heard me right. They added that it appears that one man may have cut in front of another one in a line. Police are asking anyone in the restaurant at the time to come forward and speak to detectives. And I don't know if they've caught the person that stabbed him, but he ended up dying over trying to get a chicken sandwich. You got customers fighting customers, you got customers killing customers, you've got employees fighting each other, you've got customers fighting employees. like. And these Popeye's employees are under so much stress because of this chicken sandwich coming out. Like, they've got to probably cook so much chicken. They've got to deal with these hostile customers. Popeye's being so busy 24-7 for people trying to get a dang chicken sandwich. They're under so much pressure. I, I, I always say it. I'm like, as soon as the sandwich would have came out the first time and all this stuff was going on, I was like, I quit. Because I can guarantee you, Popeye's ain't paying them employees enough to deal with this type of stuff. I do not need this job that bad to deal with some BS like this. <laughs> okay. Just get it together. Like, after all this nonsense, I'm not interested in even trying the sandwich. Like I said, I make a lot of stuff from home. So, I can probably make it myself. Or, you know, with the help of my parents, could probably make it. That might be a video. Give it a thumbs up. Leave it in the comments down below if you want to see me make the Popeye's chicken sandwich from scratch. Y'all, if you've tried the sandwich, let me know what you think. Is it better than Chick-fil-A's sandwich? Is it okay? Or does it suck? I've heard people say that it's not as good. It's all a matter of opinion, but I feel like something everybody can agree on is it's gotten way out of hand on how people are acting. I dare not step anywhere near a Popeyes. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. And I will try to be more consistent over here. I'm not going to forget about y'all. This is the first channel that I started off with, so I don't want to forget it. But thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in my next video.